attention. One question and what's your answer? Do you prefer to use the statistical programs like SPSS or Minitab, Stator and, and other programs to analyze your data sets or your interest to new methods? What's new method? You can use artificial intelligence to analyze your data sets and in this tutorial for the first time I want to inform you and teach you how to use AI to analyze data set. Then write your idea in a comment and come on Amazon class. Okay, dear friends, welcome to our modern class. I'm Dr. Shahmir Zalu, PhD in Biostatistics and a freelancer. But if I want to start these tutorials, I have questions. What we need to analyze data sets with AI? The answer is that we need two things, a data set and a prompt. Our data sets are composed from two columns. In other words, I have a hypothesis. Compare mean of weight in two groups. Then I have a column for weight in group one, second column's weight in group two. But another thing is that prompt. But second question, what's the prompt? Prompt is a passage in AI language. Third question, is there any difference between human language and AI language? The answer is that yes. There is a few difference between AI language and human language and you need to learn about how to write a prompt. Then I provide an advanced prompt for uh, statistical analysis in the tutorials. Since I have two columns and I want to compare mean of two groups, I have to run two uh, independent samples t tests. And I write prompts to run that. Okay, this is my prompt. And uh, I need to copy and paste these prompts to AI APIs. But fourth question, which Artificial Intelligence APIs can perform this prompt? Maybe you have not any answers. I uh, surveyed more than 10 different Artificial Intelligence API to earn answers. But one by one, I uh, introduce and survey that. Then I go to uh, um, copy, prompt, and paste in every of these APIs one by one. Okay, first selection is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a popular and very famous artificial intelligence, but uh, now I want to try to uh, perform these prompts. To do that, I uploaded my datasets and copy and paste these prompts here. But what's the answers? Unfortunately, unfortunately, ChatGPT cannot run statistical analysis in SPSS directly, but can explain steps one by one. For example, so I, uh, I see that uh, um, uh, ChatGPT explained assumptions of independent tests and statistical programs for running independent tests, checking assumptions, and uh, steps to run assumptions, and uh, finally how to interpret, and uh, conclusion paragraphs. But finally, I asked from ChatGPT that can you run the prompt in SPSS and report the output directly? And this is ChatGPT answers, unfortunately. Then I can conclude that ChatGPT cannot run a statistical analysis in SPSS directly. Another selection is 
Gemini, Google Artificial Intelligence. Gemini, similar to ChatGPT, write here that assumptions of independent test and verifying and verifying assumptions and reporting and interpreting and explained in more details for these prompts. In final steps, I asked from Gemini that can you run the prompt in SPSS and report the output similar to ChatGPT and Gemini similar to ChatGPT uh, answered that unfortunately as a text-based AI I cannot directly run SPSS and unfortunately Gemini similar to ChatGPT cannot run a statistical analysis in SPSS directly but certain selections is Microsoft Copilot. Microsoft Copilot. Copilot is a artificial intelligence from Microsoft and here you see that I uh, paste prompts and after that paste data sets. In other words Copilot cannot upload data set directly and we need to uh, type or copy and paste data sets as a text to prompt similar to this and um, copilot similar to Gemini and uh, chat GPT steps and assumptions and interpreting prompts but unfortunately copilot similar to Gemini and chat GPT cannot run directly statistical analysis in SPSS but cannot explain steps to do that. Fourth selection in this tutorial is an AI named Weasley. This AI uh, similar to ChatGPT and Gemini cannot run a statistical analysis in SPSS directly but similar to ChatGPT and Gemini can answer your uh, questions for example the steps to run t-test assumptions and how to interpret how to check normality and similar uh, questions but uh, Weasley, similar to ChatGPT and Gemini, cannot run statistical analysis in SPSS directly. And finally, I uh, asked uh, from uh, Weasley that can you perform this prompt in SPSS programs and write that I'm unable to directly execute SPSS commands. But fifth uh, selections is an AI, artificial intelligence API, that can run statistical analysis in SPSS. Okay, dear friends, if you are interested to run statistical uh, tests in uh, SPSS or another statistical programs, in our modern YouTube channel, there is different and various uh, tutorials about uh, uh, t-test, regression, ANOVA, and, and other um, statistical tests and I add cards about how to run t-test in SPSS independent t-test, pair t-test and one sample t-test you can click on these cards and watch these videos but now it is the time to introduce artificial intelligence API that can run statistical analysis in SPSS directly what's that? it's yes chat yes chat is uh, uh, an api that use jpt 4.0 and dolly 3 dolly version 3 and 200,000 jpts it's wonderful and it's loved by 1 million users similar uh, similar to this page and you see that it's a wonderful apis but if I wanted to uh, perform these prompts in yes chat, so I uploaded data sets and copy and paste here. And now you see that uh, a yes chat in the first step answered these prompts with Python programs. And uh, after that, write steps to do that. But finally, I asked from yes chat that can you perform this prompt in SPSS programs? and answered yes and write uh, and explain step by step how to do this and finally report the results of this analysis. But I checked this output with 
SPSS programs. Similar to this, I added data set to SPSS programs and I have a, a column named group and another column weight and uh, <clears throat> round independent t-test and you see that t-test uh, equal minus 15.52 and in yes chat you see that um, independent t-test answers is similar to this minus 15.39 a little different from SPSS programs but the final result is similar and p-value less than 0 0.001 and mean difference is equal minus 19.39 similar to SPSS programs here is uh, mean difference minus 19 uh, dot, uh, 10 and uh, now I can conclude that yes chat can perform your prompts about a statistical analysis. Okay dear friends, this tutorial is finished but if you want to receive the prompt I used you can send a message in communication ways for example in whatsapp or telegrams uh, to receive these prompts and data sets to run again but if you found this video helpful please subscribe on our youtube channels and uh, share and send this video to your friends and finally until next video goodbye